Hi class, this is Professor Barry. I hope everyone is doing great this week. Can you believe it? Survey of Christian History is now in its third week. So we are in week three. Time will fly. So just want to go over a few things. I do want to say kudos. You guys did a really good job of completing week two and your discussion post on Nero. Nero was a bad man, wasn't he? And so we're going to talk a little bit more about lapsed Christians in week three's forum. Not going to tell you what it is. You got to do your research. What is a lapsed Christian? That's going to be your discussion forum question in week three. Make sure you also follow the directions for your discussion post because um, a few of you have real short posts. But most of your posts were just awesome uh, and you met the length. Also make sure that you are engaging in conversation with your other classmates. So make sure that your posts are citing any material that's outside of your own and that your length is at least 200 words or more. You have some really good things to share. I really loved reading your post on Nero and I learned some crazy things about him as well. All right. Also, I want you to make sure that you go into week three and we have an assignment due this week. It is called your first Christian history video assignment. And you'll see this under week three. You have a video to watch. It's a little bit long, so it might be about a little over a half hour. So watch it when you get some time this week. Watch it with a notebook. Even if you have to stop it and get up and make dinner or go do something else, but watch it with some notes and get a piece of paper or something or your computer and take some notes along the way. Because what you're going to do is write a summary. And this, this video will give you a better understanding and kind of like an overview of Christian history. It is impossible to go through everything, right? But what you will do is write a two page double space summary about video number one, and that will be posted for you on in your D2L page, make sure that you watch your grammar. Uh, make sure that you don't have one long paragraph. You can divide them into paragraphs, okay? Tell what you found interesting about this video, if anything, and maybe you learned something new. But mostly it is a summary of what you watched in the video. You can go into detail and give some examples, but make sure that you make it at least to two pages and make sure, please make sure that it is double spaced and watch your grammar, okay? All right, everybody. Well, this particular week, we're talking about martyrs and heretics uh, in the Christian church. And I want you to make sure that you understand what the word martyr means. And this is someone who dedicates their life or they just don't mind being persecuted and even dying for um, the Christian faith. And over history, over the Christian history, you will see that a lot of people have died for what they believe in. I want you to also understand what a heretic is. Heretic is someone who's practicing the religion, or in this particular case, they're practicing Christianity. And what they're practicing or what they're doing seems contrary to what everybody else is doing. In Christianity. So you will see that there are a lot of heretical movements. There may be something that somebody did or said or believed that goes against what the majority of them are believing. And you had a lot of different people uh, that became heretics because of the things that they believed in. So throughout chapter three and chapter four, you're going to meet a lot of Christian leaders, early Christian leaders. For example, like Origen, Origen. He was uh, of Greece. And Origen was really cool because he was one of the early Christian fathers that did a lot of writing. And if anything helps any type of religion or any type of history, really, is by having some type of writing. Because writing is an archive. You can go back to it. And he wrote something called the Hexapla. And the Hexapla was almost like a biblical commentary. So if you have a Bible, he wrote certain type of explanations for those biblical passages. And if you get a chance to look at a biblical commentary these days, it's simply meant to give you a greater understanding of what a scripture passage may mean. Maybe you don't understand it. And also in your PowerPoint, I gave you some more information about origin. There's a video you can watch a little bit later. 
But as you see, as we move throughout the early part of the centuries, the Christian church is just having problems over and over and over again. So people are believing in Christianity. Then you have some that leave the faith. Then you have some that come back. And that's called apostasy. So somebody uh, may renounce their relig religion, and go away, and then some of them come back. And so the church was having to deal with what do we do with these people? Do we baptize them again? Or what, you know, do we embrace them in the fold? And still that goes on today. You have people that, that leave the church. You know, they might leave Christianity. They may go to another religion or something. Um, but all of these things that we see in history aren't just from way back then. They are still practiced today. Um, I want you also, as you go throughout the PowerPoint, you're going to learn about a lot of different people. Remember we talked about Nero last week. And Nero was a bad man. He did a lot of persecution to the Christian church. Well, it didn't stop. And so as we move into the 300s, you have somebody called Diocletian. And Diocletian is on it, and he's doing the same things as Nero did. And he took it a step further. He said he wanted all the churches, all the Bibles to be burned. And if you were a Christian leader or a, a preacher, you know, all the clergy, they had to be tor tortured as well. And so you see that persecution moves out of uh, the Roman Empire and it also starts to move over into North Africa now. And it really forced a lot of Christians to think like, I don't know if I really want to do this, right? If I'm going to die, do I want to do it? And then some of them, their convictions became even more uh, solid. And then we move into uh, another era, era when Christianity begins to get something called toleration. And that came from Constantine. You ever heard of an area called Constantinople? That's named after Constantine. That's modern day Turkey. And Constantine, we kind of have to thank Constantine a little bit. Constantine says, you know what? I'm going to tolerate the church people. He may not have agreed with everything, but he did start to include them in the Roman government. And he said, you know what? I'm going to make sure that you can have your buildings back. So we're thankful for, for um, Constantine. Um, another thing you're going to start to see is that there are going to be different ideas of Christianity. And this is something that you'll, you'll see with monks. Monks say, well, you know, I believe in God, but I don't need all this earthly stuff. I don't need a house. I don't need a job. And they probably didn't even eat that much. Monks live very simple lives. And monks still exist today. I want you to take some time and maybe do some uh, research because monasteries uh, still exist today. And uh, those people just simply believe in just a simple life of worship and serving other people. That's all they want to do till the day they die. And so if they live away from their family and don't have much, that they're, they're content with that type of life. All right, so I want you to enjoy reading chapters three and four. I want you to take some time, do your additional study, especially if you don't understand some of those people. Make sure that you join us on Sunday night if you are interested in talking a little bit more about the Bible. I want you to see your announcement page, and I have a link there. This Sunday night, um, we can talk and chat a little bit more if you have questions. And remember, you can always email me or call me and contact me. Make sure you look up that contact information in the syllabus. Okay, everybody, have a great day. Bye-bye.